What's up YouTube? Today I want to show you how to create a control room or listen bus in Bitwig. So this marks the first of my actual Bitwig music production tutorials. I have done a couple more aimed at kind of beginner stuff in Bitwig and DJ stuff in Bitwig and live performance kind of stuff, but I haven't really done any actual, you know, tutorials in Bitwig. And for those who don't know, I've actually recently changed over from Cubase and I actually did a video where I mentioned the fact that Bitwig doesn't actually have a control room. However, one thing that became apparent after a couple of people mentioned to me is that another one of my favorite YouTubers, Baphometrics, who you should definitely go check out, actually mentioned a way in which you can create a very similar thing in Bitwig. So I'm kind of stealing this idea from Baffo, but for those who don't want to watch the full kind of hour long video, in which a few minutes of it is dedicated to showing you this technique, this is a very quick and concise video showing you. Anyway, let's dive in and have a look. What is a control room or listen bus? It's basically an audio channel that's outside of your project, or in this case, it's inside the project. The beauty of a control room or listen bus is that none of the project audio actually gets fed directly into the channel. It goes through the master bus first. So whenever you're rendering anything, none of the effects that are on the listen bus actually get applied to your renders. And I think this is particularly important. It allows you to have like a single reference of spectrums and stuff that are already kind of set up that you can use in multiple projects. So I wanna show you how to build your own template with a listen bus. So I didn't realize this at first, but in Bitwig, you can actually send your channels directly through to your hardware outputs. It's not apparent at first because here, for example, if you try set your master to one of the audio channels, it doesn't become available, but that's because the audio channels are already routing to the master and that would obviously create feedback. However, if you change one of these to, let's say for example, my studio output, we can delete that channel for now. Um, so we've set this to the studio output. I'm actually gonna set no input just to make things a little bit easier to understand. Here, let's set this to audio one. Let's name this control room. And so now let's say for example, if we add a vital, just gonna pull up a preset real quick. So we'll notice that the audio volume is pretty low, but that's because by default, Bitwig's audio channels are set to minus 10 dBs. What we wanna do is we just wanna set the control room to zero dBs. And then what's gonna happen then is it's gonna be exactly the same volume as the master. Now we can go ahead and apply any kind of effects that we would usually have here. So I'm just gonna run through what I usually have. I've actually created a preset for that. So I've got a limiter that just makes sure that nothing peaks before my speakers. Um, I use a program called Restream, which gets the audio from my DAW into OBS. And I'm gonna talk about something important now in a moment. And then I use Reference, which is a program that basically uh, helps to acoustically correct the treatment in my room. Um, but this works on headphones too. So one interesting thing in Bitwig, we can create two of these listen bus channels, one for headphones with a separate reference curve and one for the monitors. And then we can actually mute the headphone channel from directly within the DAW. We can set it up for MIDI and all sorts of things, which is pretty interesting. So I've also got a separate channel here with a spectrum analyzer and stuff. This is a demo version, but because I don't want the audio actually running through, I've got it on a separate channel. And then the audio on that channel is actually down. So here, what's gonna happen now is you guys are gonna be able to hear So if, for example, we put this output rack on the master channel and then I rendered the output, it won't detect that I'm kind of doing a routing thing and it turns the volume down of the output when it renders so that it doesn't feed this kind of uh, very loud signal through to the speakers while it's rendering. And that very loud signal actually gets sent through to, for example, Restream. So if I'm streaming um, and I've set it up directly on the master channel, it makes a very loud noise for whoever's listening. Um, if we use this control room method and then we render, it detects, turns down the volume of the master. Nobody hears the garbled nonsense that's coming out of the speakers uh, or that's, you know, uh, anyway, I'm not sure if I'm explaining that very well, but you know what I mean. Um, so what we can do here is let's just remove this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save a template now. Um, so let's just call this uh, dash glitch control room template. 
And so now what happens when we go here, we can say my templates and you can see here, we've got the templates saved, control room, everything already set up. So now I wanna show you guys quickly how to create a separate one for your headphones. So let's add an audio channel like this. What we wanna do is we actually wanna use an audio receiver. And here, it won't allow us to choose an input because this master is set over here. We can go here, add bus, it's gonna open up our uh, settings channel. What I wanna do is I actually wanna add a separate channel for the headphones. So let's say add headphones. The, these should actually be set to speakers. It should be set to headphones. Channel three and four is my headphones, that's correct. Um, and then let's go like this. And if we set this over here, to headphones and then we'll be able to actually choose the audio from the master so let's say master post and let's set this to zero dbs so now what we can do is we can actually put on sound id reference and i'm going to load the curve from my headphones over here so now uh, if i add let's just call this headphones we can group these together and just call this control room. And then if we add a vital over here, we're gonna be able to hear that. So now I've got a completely flat reference on my headphones and my speakers, and I don't actually have to do any kind of weird switching within any softwares. It's both just live coming out of the DAW. So all that it requires is just me putting on the headphones and it's already everything set up. Super helpful tip. And I'm actually glad I quickly created that template because yeah, it's gonna save me a couple of minutes. Every time I start a new project, I was putting the output uh, on the master and just because the whole control room thing was a bit of a setup, you know, save clicks. And then, you know, then when I wanted to stream and stuff like that, then I'd have to reroute everything. And yeah, so templates are an absolute must. Awesome, that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.